Hello and welcome in Portugal. Uh, there won't be any DIY projects this week so as we are on holidays in Portugal. So I thought I will take you along with us and show you uh, one day in mm. Portugal with us. Uh, Mia is currently eating. <laughs> um, we arrived in Serpa, which is a little town. Uh, we just drove from uh, Mertola if I remember correctly, we stayed in Portugal for 10 days. We flew to Faro, rent the car and driving around. Uh, looks like every day we are in different play and stay in different accommodation. But I thought uh, I would take you for at least one day with us. Uh, with the little one it's of course harder to record everything uh, as she takes a lot of our time, but I wouldn't swap it for anything else. Uh, we really enjoy Portugal. We've been here before, so it's our second time, but Mia's first time. And yeah, we're just gonna show you what we're doing today, where we're going, what we're eating. It's it's really warm. It's May, uh, but yesterday the hottest we've seen it was 43 degrees, which is very hot. Uh, we have to be, of course, careful with Mia, so we are staying mostly in the shadows. Evenings are better because it's still warm, but not as sunny. I think Mia is enjoying her time in Portugal. And we are going to have some cake and coffee now. Her belly is full, so now it's mommy and daddy turn to eat. So the place we've been yesterday, it was called Maratola, I believe. Um, it was a really nice little uh, town by the river with a beautiful castle. And as I mentioned before, we basically every day go somewhere. We don't have any plan. We just go in the car in the morning, choose the destination and we go. We don't even have any accommodation booked till we know or oh, we like this place and we want to stay here uh, it's a kind of adventure i know it's <laughs> a bit risky with the little one but she's doing very well and that's how we used to do so we don't want to change this because now she is with us and we are kind of limited we we do what we usually were doing so just exploring different country our way so Matrola was really nice the only problem was uh, the roads uh, it's fine when you just walk it's harder when you have a pram uh, as the roads are so uneven and very bumpy and it's like very hilly so it was a challenge to go with the pram but at the end we made it she actually even liked it shaking and she was sleeping very well it's quite windy at the moment so maybe i stop recording and i show you where we are now in the serpa i believe so bad with the names of the places but yeah it's windy so i don't know how good you can hear me so just let me show around Look at this pottery, how pretty and colorful everything is. It looks like it's all handmade in here. Cork shoes. Portugal is very famous for the cork trees, and you can find so many. <laughs> things made of the, out of the cork, even the shoes. And those baskets, look how cool they are. Wow. 47.50, ah, it's really cool. And the blankets, bed straws, oh, so nice. Look at the colors and the patterns on them, beautiful. So 
there is some antique place in here but looks like it's closed it seems to like they in portugal also got siestas something similar to to in spain i don't think you can see anything through the through the glass but lots of cool antiques but yeah we are i don't know what's the time now but must be between those hours but another cool spot in this little town it's really pretty and quiet we noticed that in the previous place as well like basically when it's the hottest during the day in the street is almost empty i think everyone's sitting at home so we arrived in uh, another place uh, this time is a bigger city called Beshe uh, we are in the castle at the moment it's so, so windy today it's still very hot but very windy so I don't know how, how well you can hear me so sorry about the audio if it's annoying we again don't have a clue what we're doing where we're going we just walk around it's really nice it's bigger than bigger place than the ones we've been before and the weather is nice the, uh, the wind is actually very nice nice breeze and we just have a look around again So we arrived in a new little uh, town and found last minute this place on the booking. I will leave the link to it down below because it's a, such a lovely place, beautiful. It's a little bit out of the town but uh, it's got the swimming pool, it's beautiful outside so if you just want to chill out it's the perfect spot. So once you walk in, there's massive wardrobe. They also gave us the travel code for Mia and she will go to sleep in a minute. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And there is a double bed, extra sofa. Uh, and the most important thing in here is the view. Look at this beautiful mountain view. Uh, we could easily uh, park the car, there was a swimming pool, there's uh, lots of olive trees as you can see. It's a new building, uh, the owner said they built it uh, last year, so it's been only running for one year, so everything looks very new in here and modern. There's a little table with a chair, mirror and the TV. And when you go to the bathroom, it's again all modern and nice. Got the bath, toilet, sink, all you need. Look at this cute towel rug, like bamboo. That looks really good. I also like the floor, it's like a wood effect but it's actually um, tiles. So we had a really nice day again, it's our second day in Portugal. Uh, we spent it on driving around, visiting new places uh, which we never heard of before and that's uh, for us that's the best way of traveling, just go where you don't know what you can expect and see if you like it or not. Of course with the car it's much easier to do it because you can just jump in and go somewhere else. Tomorrow another day where we're not sure where we're going, where we're gonna stay, what we're gonna do, but time will show. Mm -hmm.